So I had a one-on-one -on -one guidance call with a wonderful lady and this call was so transformative really for both of us that I just had to share it with you guys here on YouTube and I'm super excited because her situation may be very similar to yours and that is that you can have all of these spiritual experiences and then the universe will tell you to slow down, to tell you to stop. When you feel like it was ramping up, you feel like it was really going somewhere, the universe kind of smacks you in the face and says, stop. And this can be very disheartening, especially if you're more progressed on your path, on your journey, and you've had awakenings, you've had experiences, because you, you feel like I'm going backwards, you feel like I'm losing all that progress I was making. But of course, that's the mind, that's the ego trying to project and trying to see into the future where this is all going, but it can't. It absolutely can't. So when the universe or grace, that internal wisdom tells us to stop, to slow down, we take it as a bad thing and I'm here to tell you that it's not. Because what's really happening, once you've had awakenings or spiritual experiences, is that the universe is telling you to slow down so that you can embody what you know, so that you can actually live in the most extraordinary way, your deepest realization. Because it's one thing to have a realization that, let's say, everything's love, but it's such a different thing to fully embody that in everything you do from brushing your teeth to talking to your spouse to going to work. That is why the universe is telling us to slow down is because the real work is here and now. And that's what's so beautiful about spirituality is that it always comes back to here and now. There's nowhere to go. So even though it may feel like something's ramping up, something's coming, something bigger, something better, something I don't even know what, the only thing that will ever lead to for you is right now. And there's no escaping that. You can't get out of right now. You can't get towards the future faster or away from the past faster. You're always here and now and the bulk of spiritual work will always be about your embodiment here and now. Now don't get me wrong, spiritual awakenings, crazy high peak experiences where you have you know epiphanies or you see visions of your future, extremely transformative and there's no doubt about that but when the universe is telling you to slow down when you feel like you're in a loop you feel like you're just going round and round and round and round the reason is not because you haven't broke out of the loop it's because you haven't went into it deep enough and when i say go into it deep enough i don't mean like you are, you're in a loop of drinking a beer every day and so you start drinking beer all the time no that's not what i'm saying what i mean is that we try to escape the things we need to go into. It's just like with fear. We, we, get, we, want, we don't want to face fear. We don't want to look at fear. We don't want to touch fear. We want to get away from it. This is the exact same thing. When the fear arising is asking you to meet me, the, the fear saying meet me, embrace me, hold me, and really love me, that's what your life is saying when you feel like slow down, when the universe is saying stop. Your life right now is saying, love me, embrace me, look at me, hold me, just as it is. With all of these thoughts about how our job isn't good enough, our life situation isn't good enough, with all of that too, embrace it all here and now. Because that's really, I feel like, the heart of the spiritual journey. You have all these amazing ideas of how extraordinary and blissful and magical everything will be. And it could still be that way, of course, anything's possible, but you also realize at that exact moment that it's really about here and now, whatever that is appearing and arising as. Even if that's appearing as this life that you've been telling yourself is so boring and so pointless and, and so unspiritual, you know, brushing your teeth, going to work in the office. Well, that's the work. That's the trick. That is spirituality. That's modern spirituality. It's going to your office job and deeply embodying your spiritual realizations. Now, don't get me wrong. If you're not in an office, I don't blame you. But 
that is what's happening when you feel like the universe is saying stop. When the universe is saying stop, the universe is saying love your life deeper. When the universe is saying stop, the universe is saying embrace the moment you're in deeper, deeper. Don't get away from it faster. Don't run away or towards something faster. Other way, other direc direction, the backward step. As one of my favorite teachers, Adashanti, would say, spirituality is so counterintuitive that we need to learn to take this backward step. So love your life deeper, embrace it more, step fully into your life, into the present moment, just right where you're at, just right where you're at, nowhere else, and watch the magic that happens. I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed sharing this message. If you'll hit that like button for me, that really helps this video be shown to more people. And if you're interested in something like my free course, or the one-on-one -on -one guidance session, as I mentioned in this video previously, you can click the link in the bio down below. So I hope you enjoyed this video again, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.